I'll be honest with you. There's so many things that could be fixed in next year's Madden, right? Outside of just gameplay, being able to buy coins, buy bundles with coins again, which, yes, used to be a thing like this, but then they took it out of the game. There's so many things I could sit here and list on the video. But there's one thing, right? And this might not be everyone's, you know, opinion, because not everyone's a grinder like I am when it comes to Madden. EA, come here. Please fix the field pass. And what I mean by that is, do not make it so that you have to wait two, three weeks, four, five weeks, a month to complete a field pass. Because in the past, right, the funnest thing about new season levels coming out was you could complete this whole entire field pass within a day. And that was the best thing ever. Because those who wanted to complete it within a day could do it. Those who couldn't, waited. And it worked out so well. For those who just want to play the game, grind the game, no money spent, get all the cards they can, it was nice and simple. Because I know it's crazy to say this, some people don't like playing online. I am kind of mid on it. Like, I like playing online sometimes, but not all the time. I don't want to feel forced to play online. Because at the end of the day, 99% online is just the meta. And there's nothing wrong with the meta. You know, you learn it. You get good at it. Whatever. I'd rather just be able to grind the game. Get the best team possible from grinding the game. And by putting this, you know, incentive thing where it's like, okay, well, guess what? You're not going to be able to just go from level 0 to level uh, 60 within a day. <coughs> it just takes away so much from this game to a point where it's not a game where I'm just grinding and having fun or, you know, grinding in my spare time to get this game done and get coins. It's now to a point where I'm just kind of like a, it's like a checklist, right? It's like a chore. It's like a, it's like doing chores, just doing this. Because now at this point, right, if I could grind out this whole entire level, I would have grinded this out when it first came out in June. Right? I would have got done all the June uh, things. Everything would have been perfect. I would have had all my rookie premiere cards. I would have had my golden ticket, whatever. Now, because you have to wait until like the end of July to get this done. Um, and I haven't been grinding as much as I could have. So I know, for example, I don't think I'm going to get done this season pass. But other people probably will. Which again is why I'm so frustrated. It's like, just let us grind it out. <laughs> but nonetheless though, like, I would have all my stuff done, right? Have all my rookie premiere cards ready to go for next year. And then if I wanted to play the game after that, then yeah, I would play the game after that. But it's this idea, I think, that EA tries to force upon us. Where it's like, they want us to keep going back in the game, checking the game, obviously, do your dailies, you know, get that done. And then maybe, just maybe, when you do that, you might buy a bundle or two. And that, I think that's their kind of mindset and idea. Same reason why, you know, I think it was last year or the year before that, where they had the daily login, you log in every day and you got certain rewards. I like that. I really do like the daily login, you get rewards. It actually keeps adding stuff to the game. But it's just like, I don't know. Let us grind out this field pass and get it done. So that we can, you know, get all the rewards. And hey, if we have all the rewards and we have these done, maybe we'll have more fun playing it even more. Because we'll actually have the free golden tickets and rookie premiere cards. Instead of making us wait forever. And this has been my issue all year long with every single season. And again, this might be just a personal problem for me because I like to grind out this game. I like to sit here, watch Netflix, watch YouTube, and do something in the background that I don't really have to think about. That just gets me, you know, levels up and I can just go through everything. That's what I find. I don't say I don't, I don't find the fun grinding. I find fun just enjoying content, maybe YouTube, and in the background be doing something. It's just it's rewarding in the fact that once you get done, you're like, oh, I just did all those solos. I just did all this. The problem is next year, and we already know this is going to happen. 
is how next year works is that the solos, when you grind out a solo, right? They're going to let you, uh, someone, when you grind out solos, they're actually going to change like the way the CPU plays based on certain plays you call in solo challenges. So if you call the same streak route every single solo challenge, the CPU is going to start changing to understand that what you're doing, which is going to be really annoying. The CPU is already buggy. But here's a good example of what I'm talking about, right? These stats, Season 5 stats, right? All of these, right? When you get them done, and this is a small, minuscule thing here. Make them repeatable. Like, all of these. If you get done 5,000 yards, right? Or, f or whatever, 3,500 passing yards. Makes this repeatable. Once you get it done, it repeats. And it, uh, you can do it again, and again, and again, and again. You can do all of these again, and again, and again. Right? So that you can keep getting the XP from it. Because again, the only way you're going to get XP right now, if you want to get XP, because I've already done all the rookie premiere solos, I've already done all that kind of stuff, the only way you can get XP is by grinding this out. Which, again, I've never problem with playing online. It's just not my cup of tea. So, give us more options. Let us be able to grind out the game in different ways. You know, again, I'm not saying that they... Um, I'm not saying playing online is the worst thing ever, but I'm just saying I wish they would give us more opportunities. It would just be fun. It would be a little bit more fun. And I feel like people would be like, oh, yeah, new field pass comes out. Let me grind out the game. Instead of it being, oh, new field pass comes out. Actually, I'm going to keep that card. Um, new field pass comes out, and that's it. Also, I also have just a side note here. I have not pulled any 98s out of these. Tell me down below if you pulled any 98s out of these. I pulled like 300 of these at this point. And I don't even record them at this point because like I don't pull anything. I literally pull a 93 and 95. 93 every single time. 95 is on very rare occasions. Like, EA, do they have the um, odds of these on here? I think they do, right? Well, no, I don't want to spend money. 3.3%. I doubt that. I really doubt it's 3.3% because I've opened up a lot of these. And I probably shouldn't have, to be honest. But I've opened up way too many. And I don't feel like it's 3.3%. But again, well, you know what? Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I'm just crazy, guys. Definitely tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.